Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to give you guys five relationship mistakes I've made with my ex-girlfriends, okay? So this is a combination of mistakes that I've made uh, with numerous ex-girlfriends. I'm saying ex-girlfriends because I, I guarantee that, you know, an ex-girlfriend of mine or, you know, most of them will watch this video and think I'm talking directly about them. You understand what I'm saying? So, but this is, this is a combination of shit that I learned by dealing with all of them. You feel what I'm saying? So, this is in no order of importance. I'm going to go one through five and then we're going to get it cracking. And it's hot as shit in here, but I'm going to make it happen. But anyway, so number one is, first mistake I made was not being honest. Okay. So there were situations that I was in where I was basically lying to the chicks, right? And so me lying just made everything worse later on down the line. So the lie was cool in, in, you know, in the moment because it was like, okay, I'm lying to her. So I don't really have to uh, let her know what's really going on. Because if I let her know what's really going on, she might be upset. And I don't feel like having, having to deal with, you know, her emotions right now. Someone just lying, you know, just keep it pushing. But. What happened was because I was lying so much, right? At the end of the day, the lies caught up with me. And then there was even more drama that happened because of that. You understand what I'm saying? And see, the thing is this. When a woman catches you in a lie, right? Even though that they are liars themselves, right? <laughs> they'll catch you in a lie and they'll never fucking let it go. You understand? Most of them. So they'll have that hanging over you forever. Oh, but you lied that time and all, all that other stuff. So no matter what is going on, no matter where you're trying to make the relationship better, what's going to happen is, is that at some point, whenever she's mad, whenever she's feeling a certain type of way, she's going to think about the time you lied or the time you were lying. And that's going to be brought up. And then that's how this shit happened in my situations, which caused the relationship to end. So the thing is, I'm telling you guys, just be honest with these chicks. You understand? In the long run, it is way, way better. Number two, second mistake that I made when I was dealing with my ex-girlfriends is letting disrespect slide, okay? Letting the disrespect slide. So what am I talking about here? So what happens is, is that there were times where the girl would do some disrespectful type of shit and it might have been, you know, something that was like, I looked at it, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, it's sort of minor, or whatever, right? So I let that slide. And then more disrespect would come and then more disrespect would come till eventually, you know, it got into a thing where it just got even worse and worse to the point where, look, I can't, we can't fucking be together anymore. You understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, I, I tell you guys, when you're dealing with these chicks, do not let the disrespect slide. You have to check it. You know what I'm saying? You have to check it, let her know, hey, this isn't cool. And then you have to make sure that she's not doing that shit again. And if she does, or she continues to do that, you're going to have to charge us in the game. Right? And see, I wasn't letting everything slide, but I let enough slide to where, you know, shit was just becoming too much. It was just becoming ridiculous. And on top of that, what happened was, was that I saw red flags that I just, you know, ignored. You understand? So, with the disrespect, there was red flags in those in those situations. I was just like, kind of like, oh well, she's just in a mood today. Whatever, it's it, you know, it is what it is, right? But the thing is, you do not want to let the disrespect slide. Number three, the third mistake I made with my ex-girlfriends is being in a serious relationship with a woman who didn't respect what I do. Okay, being in a serious relationship. With the woman who didn't respect what I do. And what I do, when, I, when I'm saying what I do is I'm talking about what I do, uh, you know, in my life as a career, shit like that, right? So, you know, I, I had ex-girlfriends who they would, you know, see the shit that I do and they're like, oh, you're, you know, I can't believe you're telling guys these things and you're a misogynist and, you know, I don't like the stuff you're, you're, you're saying and doing and all that other stuff. Now, the thing is, I didn't necessarily uh, care if they agreed with the messages I was saying right they didn't have to agree what i'm saying is they had to respect it right and so i was dealing with women who just didn't respect it and because they didn't respect it there was a lot of disrespect and a lot of shade thrown 
my way when it comes when it came to you know what I do right and so this is the thing that's going to dampen your success because you're around a woman who doesn't respect what you do and if she doesn't respect what you do she's not going to help you on your purpose which is what she should be doing you understand what I'm saying she should be helping you with the shit that you're doing and if she doesn't respect it she's not going to participate she's not going to cooperate you understand so don't be with a woman who's not going to respect what you do the fourth mistake fourth mistake when it came to my exes was believing everything she said right believing everything she said now why did i believe everything she said or, or, or i'd say most of the things let's say 90 95 percent of the things and i talked about this in a video before is that women try to sort of trick you into thinking that they're like the the pillars of honesty like they're just super moral characters and shit right so the thing is you know I had ex-girlfriends that'd be like, oh, you know, don't lie to me. Just be honest with me, yada, yada, yada. So because they were so about honesty and being honest, I assumed that they were honest people. So I was like, okay, well, if someone's going so hard on the honesty, that must mean that they're honest, right? But no, no. It actually is the opposite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Usually, not all the time, but usually when they're going on and on about the honesty, that's because they have certain things that they're being dishonest about. Now, what was funny was this, you know, I had ex-girlfriend who she would, you know, talk about, oh, you know, you got to be honest. And, you know, I don't like when people lie to me on all this other stuff. Right. And so I believed a lot of shit she was telling me when I wasn't around her. So she'd be like, oh, yeah, yesterday I was hanging out with the girls and I did this and I did that. And I'm like, OK, cool, because I'm just believing what she's saying. Right. But I remember uh, what happened was around the time we broke up, uh, we had a, 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 you know, a texting conversation and I was saying, hey, I didn't like the way that this, this and this went down when we was hanging out the other day. And then she was said, she said, but wait a second, this and this and this happened. And I was like, wait a second, she's literally changing the story about what happened. And I was there, you understand? So she's lying about something that happened and I was present to see what actually happened. So I'm like, wait a second. So if you're lying about something that I know is a lie because I was there, what other shit were you lying about when I wasn't there? You see what I'm saying? So you can't just believe everything that comes out these chicks mouth. You understand what I'm saying? So don't sit there and believe that, you know, your chick is just telling the truth all the time. Now, the fifth mistake I made, and this is something that you guys gotta take heed to. The fifth, fifth mistake I made is being good to a woman who doesn't deserve it. Being good to a woman who doesn't deserve it. Now, this is the thing. You shouldn't just be good for the woman if you're you, you you're supposed to have that character already like you know if you're a good dude right not no nice guy not a nice guy but you're a good dude you understand you care about your chick you understand you treat her right you treat her with respect and all that other stuff you do things for her right understand some women are not worth that right that's why i tell you guys you gotta wait for a while before you make a girl your girlfriend better do all this other stuff right but you're gonna notice that some girls don't uh, respect when you do good shit for them and the thing is certain women don't feel like they deserve good treatment so when you treat them good and you're just being that good dude she'll basically take advantage of you or she'll take you for granted you understand and she'll just shit on you just because because she feels that she doesn't she doesn't deserve that you understand? she feels she doesn't deserve good treatment and so because you're giving her that good treatment Right. She has nothing to complain about. She's probably one of these chicks that want to complain. One of these chicks that need drama in her situation to feel like somebody loves her or that other stupid shit. You understand what I'm saying? So understand that there are certain girls who feel as if they don't deserve good treatment. And if you do give them good treatment, all they're going to do is shit on you. You feel what I'm saying? So those are five mistakes that, you know, I made in, you know, with my ex-girlfriends. So hopefully when you guys are dealing with 
the women you're dealing with, you don't make the same mistakes. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.